Right, this is a lecture on Green's theorem, and it's for solving inhomogeneous equations with homogeneous initial values for differential equations, of course. So as I've just said, and this is an example equation such as here, y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equals r of t, where p and q are also functions of t, and this is a second order one, and we have initial values y of 0 equals y dash of 0, which equals 0. To solve this, we use this function here, and this is the Green's theorem part, the g of t of s, and that is the solution to this as a homogeneous equation, so you let the r of t equals 0, and we can get rid of the constants which are involved in finding the solution by stating that g of ss equals 0 and the derivative of uh, with respect to t of g of ts uh, evaluated at t equals s equals 1 and that's always the case and once you've done this the general solution is y is from 0 to t whatever interval you're in of g of t of s times r of s not r of t ds right now an example find the general solution to this here where t is greater than or equal to zero so we just solve this uh, homogeneously so we can let it uh, try y equals e to the power mt you can also try y equals x to the power uh, m I mean t to the power m that would also well it wouldn't work on this quick question but it's also worth trying and once you've solved solve this, so we differentiate each of these, put them into here. Remember, we're letting equal zero now to be homogeneous. Uh, we'll get given here, which is m plus one squared, which is a double root. So we know one of our uh, solutions is minus one e to the minus t, and the second one, because it's a double root, is t e to the minus t. Right. So now that we've got this equation here, we've got the g of t of s, we've got this here, but we want to get rid of these constants to make it uh, easier, more simplified. So we're going to use the two facts we know, which is g of s, uh, s is 0, and the derivative at t of g t s evaluated at t equal, equals s is 1. So if we put both as s, both the t's as s, and here as well, and then we can rearrange it and get C1 on its own to give minus C2S. Right, we do the same for the second one. We evaluate this, so we differentiate. And it gives us this, because we've got the differential of the first, uh, plus the differential of the second. So we've got T. And once we change all the T's to S's, like it says, we get this. And once we substitute our value for C1, which is minus C2S, this and this will cancel, leaving just C2E to the minus S, which is 1. Uh, move the E S up, so C2 is E to the power of S, and using that we can get C1 is minus S E to the power of S. And we put those values back into the equation we had here, and we just integrate this. Remember T is greater than 0, if it was greater than 1 you'd change that to a 1, greater than 2, so on between 0 and t of our uh, Green's theorem part times r now uh, evaluated at s and with uh, integrate that with respect to ds. I hope that made sense.